Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On my first video, I went over the benefits of using an MFA called Authy to protect your online accounts. If you haven't seen that video and you would like to, please click on the link in the description below to check it out. Now, that video as of this recording has about 500 plus views, a few comments, a ton of likes, and people securing their online accounts as we speak. Today, I want to follow up with that video but focus more on your social media account known as Instagram and your financial account known as Robinhood. Now, to be clear, I'm not sponsored by Authy or any other MFA solution that I might mention, but I'm creating this video for two reasons. The first one being that the first video audio wasn't the greatest. To be honest, it was horrible. Um, the second, a lot of social media accounts are currently being hacked with the deposit of money, Bitcoin, Cash App, etc. And Robinhood just had a 7 million user breach where customer information has been compromised. If you read more about that, click on the link in the description below. Now, I have personally a few close friends that have suffered from their IG accounts being hacked, which led to their Facebook being compromised, pictures and videos of their loved ones in the hands of complete strangers along with their personal data and messages available for those individuals to read and take advantage of. On top of that, they are also able to reach out to those that follow them and try to get them to fall for a malicious hack. Now I know nothing loves more company than misery, but I'm sure in this case not even you would wish this on your worst enemy. Now, I know that some people did sign up for the MFA, but they use SMS because it was the quickest and easiest way to do so. But as I mentioned in my first video, SMS are the least secure methods of MFA as Coinbase users were a victim of an SMS hack. So with that being said, I wanted to do a quick step-by-step -step on how to secure your Instagram and Robinhood using the MFA app called Authy. So what we're going to do here, we're going to open the App Store. We're going to search for Authy in the search bar. And you should see Twilio Authy show up at the top of the list. If not, please pay attention. It is Twilio Authy. That's the app that you want. You're going to click on Get. In my case, of course, this is open. If you already have it installed. Now, once you click on Open, it's going to ask you to set up your account, put your email and your password. Please take the time to do so now. Once you're done and you're ready to go, there's going to be an add account button at the very bottom, or in your case, at the very top. Once you click on add account, it's going to ask you to scan a QR code or enter a key manually. So what we're going to do here is we're going to open up our Instagram account. We're going to click on our icon at the bottom right. We're going to click on the three dashes at the top. We're going to go to settings. We want to go to security and we're going to go to two factor authentication. All right, once you're here, you're going to click on the authentication app, which again is recommended. Once you turn that on, it's going to ask you how you want to proceed with setting up your account. You click on set up another way, and you should see the code that pops up. It's going to ask you to copy the key. So what you're going to do is hit copy key. You're going to go back to Authy and you're going to click on enter key manually. You're going to paste in that key. Hit save. You can search for Instagram. And of course hit continue. And you can type in your account name here. Once that happens, you should be received with a token that expires every 30 seconds. Okay, now depending on where the number is, I would say copy the code. But in this case, we're going to wait until the new code refreshes. Now, once the code is there, you can hit the copy symbol, copy the clipboard. Let's go back into Instagram, click next, and we're going to paste the code here. Now, once you do that, it's going to say your authentication app has been confirmed. And we're going to ask you to log in the next time you do so, especially if it doesn't recognize the device you're logging into. Click next and make sure 
you back up your codes. You can take a screenshot, you can click on get new codes, or you can just copy. But make sure you copy and back these up in a secure location. Because if you lose access to your, your phone, your off the app, or anything, this is the only way you'll be able to get back into your Instagram account. Now, with that being said, your account is completely secure with both your password and your MFA code. So in the event you click on a link by accident and the hackers get your user account and password, even if they attempt it to sign in with your credentials, they won't get far because they need that additional key, that second step authentication to be able to access your account. Now that we saw how easy that was, let's proceed with securing your Robinhood account. All right guys, so now that we have Authy installed, we're gonna open up our Robinhood app. And at the bottom right, we're gonna click on the person icon. We're gonna click on the three dashes at the top right. We're gonna to go to security and privacy. And we're gonna look for the two-factor authentication. Once you click on that, you're gonna click on turn it on and you're gonna choose the Authenticator app. Again, same process, now it's gonna ask you to copy a key. Hit Copy Key, once it says Key is copied, you will then proceed over to your Authy app. Here, you click on the plus sign to add an account. You're gonna enter the key in manually, and you're gonna paste that key here. Hit Save, of course you can type in what you're looking to do, which is Robinhood and it should give you a nice icon. Then of course, you can give it a nickname. And hit save. Now, once that's done, same rules apply. It's gonna generate a key code. Again, depending how close you are to the end of the countdown, I would say wait till it goes to another 30 fresh 30 seconds. And once it does that, we're gonna copy the clipboard Go back to our Robinhood app, hit continue, and we're going to paste in that code. Once you do that, it lets you know that it's turned on, and again, a backup code is generated. Please make sure you copy any backup codes because and keep it safe. Because again, if you lose access to both your password and your MFA off the account, this is the only way you'll be able to get back into your account. So copy backup code, and again, paste it and keep it somewhere safe. Hit continue, and now two-factor is turned on for your Robinhood. So in the event that, that you're part of that 7 million user uh, breach, and someone does have access to your account, and they try to reset it and somehow get your password, you are protected if they try to sign in, because unless they have your phone or access to your Authy app, they will not be able to proceed with logging in as you. So again, guys, thank you for following the step-by-step -step guide. If you feel that this video has given you any type of help, please smash that like button. And if you don't have a Robinhood account and you would like to sign up and start trading, I have left a link in the description below. If you sign up and connect your bank account, we both will get a free stock. Now, even if you don't choose to use my link, um, I do ask that you please, please, please secure your online accounts using MFA. As well, please share this with your friends and family so that they are not a victim of any of the current hacks that are happening. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.